Hey, what's going on guys? Sam and Ian here and today I am going to uh, show you a new mod for uh, 1.12.2 which actually expands on the HBM nuclear tech mod reloaded. Now you hear that, right? You kind of hear that. So, there's actually a little something, a little something something on the ground here. You see this? Dead grass? We've got a guy here kind of right about to delve into pretty interesting. So basically down here, under the ground here, close by, oh, I don't, it might be a couple blocks. It might be like passing <laughs> it. Oh okay. But close by, like I said. for a minute so that everybody can hear me talk so what we have in here first is our control room our the amount of radiation we're getting is absurd good old 17,000 rads per second so we have a grad counter here we have a broken radio we have a casserole I mean microwave <clears throat> without a battery and over here we have a bunch of miscellaneous like re reactor remote control block, which uh, I'm not really sure what these do. I've never used these. Fusionary Watts uh, reactor core th um, access port, I think. That energy storage, another one of those control blocks, one of these silo hatches. So miscellaneous like tech blocks here. We have a Rosenberg uh, switch. Two uh, full rows of uh, tape decks, tape recorders. There, that's a really nice place. I like it. It really has that uh, like nuclear lab look. So over here we have our armory, which has do double doors, obviously. And over here we're gonna find a bunch of like ran like rounds and stuff. We got forty millimeter grenades and stuff. Over here we have our good old. Uh, Samuel the big shotgun with our four gauge shotgun rounds. This is buckshot, uh, four gauge. We got one 23 millimeter uh, bail fire grenade. That's ridiculous. Why would you need that? Over here we have our big iron. Over here we have our uh, gr grenade pistol. This is a bunch of random stuff in here. A four millimeter rocket. Oh boy, you get three of these uh, freaking uh, balefire uh, rockets or nuclear rockets. I don't think they're balefire per se. You get twenty gauge buckshot here with the mayor's leg. Some machine gun. You get the uh, good old nine millimeter rocket. What the heck? Nine millimeter rounds. Fletchet rifle with five five six. Over here we have the uh, twenty the uh, twenty two long rifle round with the uh, MIM Uzi. And now there's also a little something back here. 
I learned all of this from, uh, oh God, okay, like, I'll be back. All right, so the person who uh, told me about this uh, mod was uh, Lego John Ross on the, our, uh, the Discord. If you guys haven't checked it out, the link is in the description below. And, okay, so we're going to grab a key imitation kit here. Now, what we're going to do here, this, this is uh, kind of messed up, I'm going to be honest. This says something. Okay, let's see what this says first. Okay, that's a rocket. <laughs> LMAO. Hello there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to open this bad boy up with our key imitation kit. Open it. We got a flipped revolver. It says, I've seen things I shouldn't have seen. Over here we have a use when there's no other op no more options. And one single lead bullet. I think we all know what goes on here. Okay, that's that. That's kind of dark, honestly. <laughs> oh, why am I laughing? Okay, so over here we have some weapon crates. So uh, let's say, uh, I'm going to grab a crowbar real quick. If I can pick the dang thing up. There should be a crowbar in here already, in my opinion. Okay. We got a another grenade launcher. Two more Uzis, I think. <laughs> ah, some machine gun, not Uzis. Uh, here we go. We got another, there's the Uzi. We got a regular revolver. <laughs> so how do you flip it? That's a question that I just... And then we have a FIM-92 uh, Stinger rocket uh, launcher. Over here we have this special thing called the Blue Rins. Now what this does is you take your semi-stable selenium core here and you throw it in this bad boy. And what it does from what I've experienced, it does it doesn't actually like break any blocks, like unless it's like organic matter. So it'd probably break the signs here and stuff. So we're gonna save that for the last. Over here we have our hazard uh, hazmat crates here. We're not gonna open all these up because I do not have enough room for all this. Basically it's gonna give us like miscellaneous uh, hazardous materials. Over here we are for our supply crates. This will give us like uh, I think like machines and stuff. Here, let me crack one open. Oh no, this gives us like ammo. This gives us ammo and like stim packs and stuff like that. Uh, down here we have our reactor here, which obviously you can see has been a uh, site of a major nuclear incident. Chernobyl would be freaking proud. <laughs> and Atoli Dyatlov would be quite proud of this nuclear accident here. Oh boy, this is <laughs> this is something. Honestly, you got bail. You got nuclear waste over here. Let's see what uh, the uh, radiation is right here. That's you know uh, nine nine hundred and seventy nine rads per second. I, I mean that's that's not good by any means, but I thought it would be higher. <clears throat> so uh, this would be a pretty nice place to you know, set up shop in once you get cleared up. Okay, while we're down here, we have waste storage. Now, this room is full of, like, nuclear waste, painted nuclear waste as well. So, it's pretty much all just nuclear waste and stuff. This place is a freaking OSHA violation, and, and I like, I got half right here. This is where all the radiation comes from. This right here is the probably the most, most radioactive room in this uh, area. Sport, sporting a whopping, like, let's see here, almost, like, 4,000, like, yeah, 4,000 rads per second almost. Which is absolutely absurd. So you do not want to go in that room unless you want to die instantly. And over here we have our good old, uh, more nuclear stuff here. This is not as bad, but it's still pretty bad. 18,000. Now I have no idea what the code is for this, so we're just going to type in random numbers. Ah, damn. Let's try 1776. I might just have to break it and call it a day. <laughs> 1776. Dang it. I don't even know what the password is. I don't care. Okay, over here we have our... We'll just put this back down. Let's put it, we'll just put in a code ourselves. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a good old uh, 1998. 
And so now it should let us. Okay, no, we gotta we gotta enter the code again. Nineteen ninety eight. Bloody hell! I should do ah. Uh, we should have did nineteen eighty six since it's radioactive. <laughs> Just like Chernobyl. Okay, so here is pretty radioactive as well. But look at all this. You get blocks of like absolute like absurd amounts of uh okay, let's get rid of all this here. Except for that. We need that. Okay, we got absurd amounts of blocks blocks of uranium two thirty five, two thirty eight, raw uh, raw uranium ore. And I think over here we have some plutonium. Yeah, plutonium-238. It's mostly plutonium-235. Just regular blocks of uranium that are... You know, honestly, this is pretty nice. So, you can have, like, a, uh, like a small uh, weapons cache of, like, radioactive, like, weapons and stuff here. Like, isotopes, not weapons, per se. I can't close this. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? That's fine. That's not fine. <laughs> but, wow. This is a great place to get a lot of resources, though. I think that's pretty much everything. Over here is the alarm block, which has been driving me crazy. Just set on loop or whatever. So, like, that will constantly go on. <clears throat> but, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything in here. Oh, oh wait, I forgot about these. These are just like fuel rods and stuff. Bale fire. I if it's depleted though. Which that kind of sucks. This one. Okay, this one's right away and stuff. This is. Uh, it's not enough, in my opinion. You need like a re elite right away. Like. Absurd amounts of radex too. You need some iodine tablets in here. Jeez. I Actually, you know what? I don't really think that's going to help at this point. So last thing, last but not least, here we have this. Boom. I okay. As you can see, it already took out like the uh, the chests and stuff. There's no more chests in here. I don't know if there was a chest over here, but there's not anymore. The chests are gone. The crates have managed to stay for some reason. I think that's kind of weird. That's just my personal opinion. That pretty much removes like any mobs. I'm pretty sure if I was in survival mode, it'd probably remove me as well. But that's pretty much what all the blue rins does. All right, let's. Uh, I guess let's get out of here. I'm just gonna pillar. Th we're just gonna go through here. More holes in the ceiling. So what I'm gonna do next, probably in the next video, is I'm gonna, uh, like, you know, I'm gonna repair it, like the whole entire like facility down there. Oh, see, look at that. It actually caused a lot of damage here on the surface. It wiped out the grass. It wiped out the village that was here. I <laughs> I feel like I've committed war crimes. <laughs> but it, it's no matter. But it, it's a great decontaminator, if you actually think about it. Because, uh, remember all that, uh... All that, like, dead grass that was here that's radioactive. I wiped it all out. <laughs> that's, that's absurd. It wiped out everything. There's absolutely no wood here. Except for this door. This door has survived. That's absurd. That's delightfully absurd. I love that. Okay, so I think around here somewhere, there's a button. And what that button do? It explodes. Okay, so over here, here's another structure from the, uh, the potato, uh, potatoes custom structures for, uh, HBM, the HBM, uh, nuclear tech mod. Like I said before, this is for the 1.12.2 version. Oh, here it is. This is the uh, button. So, you know what's under here? Neither do I. Except uh, Lego John and Ross already showed me, so I kind of do. So, over here we have a fully operational little boy. We have our neutron shielding, subcritical so uranium-235 target. The uranium-235 projectile. And the propellant and the bomb igniter for this. Which, honestly, real nifty. So, obviously, I don't think you actually want to press this button unless you want to, uh, you know, <laughs> disappear instantly. That's absurd. I love that. <laughs> I wonder what, what other crazy and wacky things we could find. 
There's a, like a couple more structures this mod offers. Uh, the nuclear landmine, the HE landmines, uh, waste barrel. Okay, I think that's already in, like installed. Okay, and nuclear test site. That sounds pretty cool. I gotta find a nuclear test site. So anyway, that's it for this uh, video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you guys aren't already. I know I'll leave a link down to the mod in the description below. And remember, this is for 1.12.2. So this will not work with the 1.7.10 version. Anyway, see you guys next time. Goodbye.